you're considering revision surgery, the main question to ask yourself and the doctor is, will the revision make a difference in my body? If it does, if it will, it makes sense to do the revision. If not, it doesn't make sense to spend the money and undergo the recovery if you will not see a difference. Our patient today had liposuction three times before in the past with some skin tightening, but she would like a better outcome, a better body, and so she came to me to discuss further surgery. Three things bother her the most. First, she thinks she has some loose skin, which can be tightened. Second, she has some more fat to take, thus her waist can be narrowed and her stomach could be flattened. And third, she has some irregularities on the lower half of the abdomen from scarring, which can be smoothed out. So after multiple discussions with her, we decided to proceed uh, with the liposuction 360 to do a liposuction around the body again with some J-plasma skin tightening, which gives about 50% more tightness to the skin and also to break up the scar and do some abdominal etching to define her stomach a little, a little bit more. So we entered the operating room. The first step, just like in any other surgery under local anesthesia, is to do the numbing. Uh, small incisions are made where the tumescent fluid is placed inside the body to numb the skin and the fat and after the body is numb the second step is to remove the fat but this time the liposuction is a little more challenging because there's some scar tissue so every time there's scar tissue you have to break up the scar and then you have to remove the fat which makes the procedure a little longer and sometimes under local anesthesia a little more discomforting to the patient. After the fat is removed, we did some abdominal etching. J plasma tightens up the skin in two ways. Radio frequency tightens up the dermis and the helium gas also contributes to some tightening. It gives about 50-60% more tightening of the skin. With the liposuction 360, I was able to remove about a liter, a liter and a half of uh, pure fat. So it should make a difference afterwards. Her waist should be thinner because she had some fat on the sides of her ribs. And then her stomach should be a little bit flatter because there's some fullness in the front, which I took out with the liposuction. And also the back should be a little more curved because she did have some fat on the back, which I took. So everything should be a little thinner and the waist should be smaller.